We're strengthening our chest, triceps, and shoulders in this push style strength workout. The only thing you're gonna need will be your heavy dumbbells. So get those and let's do this. We're gonna get right into lifting heavy, but before we do, let's take just a couple minutes to make sure our body and mind are ready for this strength session today. For our warm up, we are actually gonna use some lighter dumbbells. So I'm gonna use my five pounds. So if you've got some light dumbbells, have those ready to go as well. But let's go ahead and start with a reach and pull. So arms up nice and tall, and then we're gonna pull down here. Think about bringing those elbows together in the back. Extend up nice and tall, and then down. So as we take this couple minutes here, I'll explain the structure of our workout a little bit more in detail so you know what to expect. Let's do two more, and then we're gonna do shoulder rolls. Here's two, nice and tall, pull, good. And then last one. Now shoulder rolls back. Think about bringing those elbows up and around. We're gonna go right into lifting with our light weights next. We're gonna work through the shoulders, the triceps, and the chest, hitting all those major muscle groups we're working today. Let's do three, and let's start working over for our light weights. And last one. Starting with those light weights, shoulder press first. So arms up, focusing on form and a nice slow tempo. So here we go. Press it up nice and slow, wrist straight and down. Ooh. Using our light weight here is just gonna help us start to activate those muscles and get ready for that heavier weight. So very simple structure today. And it's a pretty, I would say more traditional strength style workout. Now I know we only have 20 minutes, but I am a firm believer that if you have a plan and you have your focus, you can accomplish so much in 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, we're gonna do that. I got the plan. All you need to do is bring the focus and bring the heavy weight. Let's do last one and then we'll do tricep kickbacks. Whew, there it is. So back flat, drive those hips back and let's, let's kick it back here. Hold it at the top for a second. Now structure today, we have two rounds with three exercises each that we are gonna repeat three times through. We're gonna be working for 40 seconds. In between those exercises, we'll get 20. And then after each round, we'll get 45. We're gonna be alternating exercises. So the muscles that we're working will get a little bit of a longer break while we focus on another push muscle. Last one here, then standing, chest flies, shoulders rolled down and back, palms away from you. We're gonna lift and down. Good, soft knees. But to really work on building that strength, focus on heavy weight. When I, you know, we usually will lift moderate. I'm gonna go about five pounds more than that for my heavy weight today. So keep that in mind. Remember that weight is always relative to you and the exercise that we are doing. So challenge yourself when you're picking your weight today. Two more, here's two and one. All right, getting ready for our first exercise. We're gonna bring it down to the mat. We've got chest press with a pause at half. So we're gonna increase the intensity with some tempo variations today as well. So again, bring that focus, bring that heavy weight, and let's do this. All right, bringing it down here, 10 seconds out and we press. So we're gonna press it up as we come down, pause at halfway, work at your own tempo, wrist straight. Let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go, 40 on, press it up. Now hold it halfway, hold it for three, two, one, and then down. All the way back up. As you come down, hold it. Woo. Really exhale, drive those shoulder blades into the mat. Good, this should be very tough right now. You got some shake going on. Really feeling those chest muscles activate. Really get that full squeeze, get that full extension. Last three, two, and one. Bring it down. Next exercise, we're gonna go into skull crusher. So we're gonna be right back here on the mat. One or two dumbbells. Again, something challenging. So let's roll it on back. Arms straight up here, bending just at the elbow. Here we go. No tempo adjustments on this one. I would say this one is as challenging as we need. It is whew, pushing the intensity. 
But again, really isolating the back of the arm. Oof. Exhale as you press up. Almost there. Keep it strong. Last three, two, and a one. Nice job. All right, we are going in to chest flies now. So just make sure you've got some space. Grabbing those weights. Bringing it up, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go, chest flies, open it up. So now back to our chest here, really squeeze and then down. Think about that armpit egg. Exhale, squeeze. Working at a consistent tempo up and down here. And to get a little deeper into this, to each rep, I like to, at the top, think about bringing my pinkies together and tapping the ends of my dumbbells closest to my pinkies together. That that little extra twist of the arm there, or wrist I should say, really gets deeper into that chest. Last three, two, and a one. Nice job. Whew. All right, we have completed that first round. So we are gonna go ahead and move on to our next three exercises. So we're gonna keep alternating. We're moving on to round two now. Round two, we have got shoulder press with a slow lower. So just keep your space clear. 20 seconds out. And when we take it down slow, again, work at your own tempo. About a four to five count would be good. All right, so this round, all about the shoulders and the triceps. Bring it up, going here in three, two, and one. Normal tempo up. Now, nice and slow. Very slow here. All right, we hit the bottom, back up. Exhale and press. Whew. Count it down for five. Three, two, one. When we are working strength, it is not about the number of reps you get in. We're gonna have probably very few reps, especially when we have this tempo variation going on. So that's why we just focus on lifting heavy here, taking your time, good form. Here it is, last three, two, and a one. One dumbbell next, tricep overhead extension. 10 seconds out, bring it up. Hips tucked under, elbows tucked in. Ooh, five out, here's three, two, and one. All the way up, squeeze, tighten the back of the arm again. Just hinging at that elbow. That really isolates that tricep muscle. So if you're working on trying to tighten up the back of your arm, this is one of those exercises, along with the skull crusher that we just did earlier, one of the extra, two of the exercises that I should say, that are gonna help you do that. Not only the fact that having strong arms all around, so good, making life so much easier. Almost here. Three, two, and a one. Awesome. Now, moving on, Arnold press. So again, hitting the shoulders. I had a little break there for our tricep as we targeted that muscle. Eight out, shoulder press. Palms start facing you, normal tempo. We go in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Press it up, wrist straight. Woo. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning of this workout, I said we are focusing on our push muscles today. And if you were like, I don't really know what that means. As you can see, all of these mus muscles here, we're working those push, that push strength. So like I said, when we were working our triceps, that just having a strong upper body is so beneficial to everyday life. That's what we're doing right now, strengthening those push muscles to make life easier. Oh, last three, two, and a one, amazing. All right, longer break. Back to round one, where we're focused on chest and triceps again. Whew. 
So going back, chest press first. How'd you do with your weight that first time around? If you can go up at all, make sure you do that. And remember, are you staying focused? That's what we need today, heavy and focused. That is where we're gonna get the most out of this short training time. So let's roll it back. 10 seconds out. Move that. There you go. All right. So shoulder press. Remember, pause at half from the top. So here we go. All the way up. Press it up. Drive those shoulder blades in. Now, as you come back down, pause at half. Hold it for three, two, and one. All the way down. Now, all the way up. Good. Pause at half. When you are lifting heavy, <laughs> You can hear your heavy breathing. We really have to use that breath as power, so don't be shy about that. It helps so much. You exhale as you do that work. So with that press up, you exhale. Good, almost there. Whew. Last little bit, let's hold it for three, two, and one. We're down, good. Skull crushers, back to those. One or two dumbbells. All right, this rest timer moves quick, so bring those arms straight up, hinging only at the elbow. Here we go. Drop it down and exhale and press up. So that work comes right here with the exhale. As you press up, back towards the sky, arms straight. Wrist staying straight as well. Whew. Almost there. Oh my word, we are gonna be feeling this tomorrow. <laughs> Yay. Last three, two, and one. Good. Whew. All right, chest flies, moving on. Make sure you got some space as you open those arms up. Normal tempo with our chest flies. Arms come up. Going in three here, two, and one out nice and wide, just slight bend in those elbows. Remember, I said at the top here, I like to start leading in with those pinkies, tap the dumbbells deeper into those chest muscles will work. Oof. Exhale as you squeeze, drive those arms up, tightening up the chest muscles. Almost there. Last three, two, and a one. Nice job. All right, up to our feet. Oh, working that round of shoulders and triceps now. Two Arnold press, or no, shoulder press. Arnold press is the last exercise. We still have about 20 seconds though. So shake it out if you need to. Oh, good time to rest here. Let those muscles get ready. What are we working with? Remember, stay focused on that heavy lift for this shoulder press. 15 seconds out. Shoulders roll down and back. We're gonna bring it up. All right, five out. Just our shoulder press, wrists are straight. In three, two, and one. Exhale and press. Nice and slow as you lower. Oh yes, we're doing a slow lower. I was like, that sounds like we should be doing that. Slow low, here we go. Nice and slow. So remember about five counts to take it down. Normal tempo up. Whew. A couple more reps, you got it. Stay strong. Good, this is three, two, and one. Tricep overhead extension. Just one dumbbell here. Whew. All right, solid stance here. Soft knees, hips tucked under. We've got that good posture to begin with. Five seconds out, so bring that weight up. Going in three, two, 
and a one. Here we go. Down all the way and up. So again, just hinging at that elbow. Nice job. Don't forget, exhale right here. Press up with that work. Breathe out. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Now on to Arnold Press. Back to two dumbbells. Now the Arnold Press works that front and medial deltoid. So we get a little combo action here for the shoulders. Five seconds out, palms facing you first. Let's go in three, two, and a one, 40 on, good, nice and slow as you rotate closed, control it open all the way up. Now I prefer a staggered stance for the most part when I'm doing shoulder press, but if you feel more comfortable in a wider stance, you can always take that. The most important part, for form as far as your lower body goes is that soft knee and hips tucked under. Oh, last one. Three, two, and one. Good. Oh my. We are starting to hit failure and that is awesome. That is what we want because we are getting close. We're gonna go back to the chest and triceps round, bringing it to the mat. Oh, wow. All right, chest press first. Still about 20 seconds, so breathing here. Remember our pause at half with that one. So all the way up, take it down half, pause, and then all the way down to back up. All right, bringing it back. Weights up, going in three, two, and a one. Here we go, drive it up. Now, as you come down, hold it halfway. Let's hold it for three, two, one. All the way down, all the way up. Oof. Holding it at half. Oof. Now, keep working through these reps. Keep your focus. Ooh. Almost there. Last three, two, and a one. Awesome. Skull crushers, here we go. Now, especially as we get further and further into this workout with those heavy dumbbells, just be careful as you're moving them around because the muscles are shaking. All right, arms up. Skull crusher, here we go. Just that elbow, down and press. So as you're bending, you still wanna think about that elbow pointing right up towards the ceiling. So you don't want your arms coming backwards. That's what we don't want at the shoulder joint. Cause then we're gonna put some work back into the chest and the lats and we just wanna focus on the triceps right here. Last three, two, and one. Whew, okay, hit failure on that one because can't even get the weights up. <laughs> oh my, I love heavy days. I really do. They are so fun. It's just so fun to see what you're capable of and how far you can push yourself. Because I'm telling you, if you don't ever try, you won't ever know. We got chest flies. So let's see what we got for this one. Bring it back, arms up, 40 on, let's go. Nice and wide, and then squeeze. Tighten up the chest muscles. Driving your shoulder blades into the mat. You got a little arch in your back there. That is perfectly fine, and that's actually gonna give you a little bit more power to push with. Almost there. Oh, 
Last one, because here it is. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, moving down to our shoulders and try round. <sighs> nice recovery here. Getting those longer breaks with this heavier work. We're gonna go into our shoulder press with that shoulder press. Remember, slow, low. So four to five pounds down and then normal tempo up. All out here, because we are so close now. Bringing our weight up, 10 out. Okay, we got it. We can do this, here we go, bring it up. In three, here's two, and let's press. Up, now, slow, lower. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, all the way back up. Woo, and exhale. Good. Nice and slow. All the way up. Okay, this is gonna be it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. All right, tricep overhead extension. Oh my word. How are we almost done? Have you seen how fast this has gone? But things are shaking and we are stronger because of it. All right, bring it up, five out. Tricep overhead extension, last time here, let's go. Take your time all the way down to all the way up. Really make sure you're getting that full range of motion for you on this exercise to work all the way through those triceps. Now I really do love adding heavy days and I'm gonna highly encourage you to not skip out on them when we have them in our training schedule because not only will this help you prevent hitting any plateaus when you challenge yourself with that heavier weight, but over time, this is where we progressively overload our body to continue to see changes, to continue to grow and to continue to change. So these days are not just here to be like, let's see what we can do. I mean, that's cool, but we have a purpose in this. So don't forget that. We always gotta show up with a purpose for our training and that's it, there we go. All right, this is it. <gasps> Arnold Press. So excited to have made it to this point with you. This is it. Final 40 seconds of heavy work. Bring those weights up and let's go. Press it up. Woo. Speaking of training with a purpose, I have an April strength only calendar. If you do not like to have to try to plan out your workouts. So if you wanna keep getting strong, keep growing, keep changing, check out that calendar in the description. It will really help make your days so much easier when you have one less decision to make. And it's one decision that I've got it all planned out for you. So you don't even have to think about it. You just have to press play and get strong. Whew. Here we go. Press it up, cause this is it. We've got three, two, and one. Whew. Amazing. You are the bomb. Don't ever forget it. Thank you for showing up for our strength day. Do not forget that we're gonna have a pull version and legs, glutes, and thighs for this same structure. So don't skip it. I told you this is gonna be so beneficial for your training. Also, if you wanna get a little taste of the legs, go get our thighs finisher. That will be an amazing way to really burn out those thighs with our upper body training today. I love you. Go out and kick butt.